welcome back to this Guild Wars 2 Let's Play. You're Sambo Seraphis, and joining us as always here in the brand new lands of Tyria in Guild Wars 2 is the Twitch Witch herself, Her Royal Highness Queen Regina Jayla Serta. How are you this evening, my lady? I'm very well. How are you today, sir? I'm very well as well. In fact, you know what? I've got a little secret to let you in on, and it's got nothing to do with <laughs> Guild Wars 2. Well, I guess it has got a little oh. bit to do with it. As we film this, tomorrow, Mists of Pandaria release, right? So it's not Guild Wars 2, but it's your favourite game, no. <laughs> The World of <laughs> Warcraft. So, it, But look, it's a big new expansion, right? And it's releasing tomorrow, and it goes live at 5pm our time here in Australia. I finish mm -hmm. work at 5pm tomorrow and I've got the rest of the week off. I have got the whole week off. That's right. Big cheer for me because I'm going to basically play Kung Fu Panda the entire week. What do you think of that? <laughs> I think that um, you're actually not utilising all the time that you need to. <laughs> because if you get off work, no, think about this, sir. If you get off work, at five o'clock, you still have to make the commute and do the install. Therefore, if it's released at five o'clock, you're actually oh. going to be wasting best part of an hour. Oh. You should have taken off work from four o'clock. Oh, my God. Look, you've made me go and cry. I didn't even think of that. Man, I'm... I'm wa Do you know what? Actually, I'm probably by the time I get home, I'm going to have wasted two hours. That's two hours of prime levelling yeah, time. Yeah, you'll stop at the 7-Eleven to buy Krispy Kreme donuts as well, won't well, you? <laughs> You know what, that's the, that's the last time I ever let Reggie in on a secret, i tell you that. Now, by the way, speaking of secrets, speaking of secrets, you, I think, as we pan in here and have a look at you, you think that you can get away with this. I know for a fact that the last time we saw you, you were not purple. You, There is no way you were purple. You tried to sneak this in. Look at you. you explain yourself, woman. How did you become purple all of a sudden? Well, you know, like, um, you can dye your clothes well, yeah. a lot more easily than in Guild Wars 1. Yeah. Well, hang on. Did you well, find purple dye? A very, very lovely player, Harvest Bloodtooth, big hello, sent me some purple dye. Ah, uh, I knew it. I knew it because, you know what, as if you would find purple dye before me, because, you know, I have all the luck out of the two of us. Well, actually, maybe I don't. Huh. But I knew someone would have sent you that. In my mind, it was guaranteed that was going to be a gift. What are you guys doing? Crazy, crazy, sending her gifts. She does not need gifts, especially when it's show-off purple ones like this. We all know purple's her favourite colour, and you know what? It actually looks really good. Unfortunately, it really does. And, in fact, it matches your pink well, hairband. Well, I it teamed up with the pink. It, looked, it did look quite fetching. Yeah, don't. <laughs> fetching. That's exactly what it's like. Oh dear. All right. Well, look, I'm still stuck here in my reddy, orangey, brown type stuff here. I'm going to have to get and find some more dyes. In fact, you know what? A lot of people have been sending me dye, Reggie, although I keep picking them up on the wrong character. I keep getting sent a particular one. In fact, if we go into my hero screen here and we go to the dye mode, and you guys have seen this before. We've shown you this. This is where you collect all your dyes, and I guarantee you that Reggie's list will look like three times longer than mine already because I know what she'll be focusing on. <laughs> but there's a die here and I'm trying to find oh it's not on this character. There's a pink die that people have been sending me and you'll never guess what the name of it is. It is so fitting. It is so fitting. The name of the die is Humiliation Die. And that says it all to me. You see, Guild Wars 2 know what pink is all about. They know that pink is humiliating. And now I know why you've got me to wear it on all my characters, because you're trying to humiliate me, aren't you? I mean, slightly. I, I, that, what do you mean slightly? That's like saying something is slightly black or slightly... It, it's, it's either humiliation or not. So finally, after, what, like a year that you forced me to go pink in Guild Wars 1, I'm finally wising up up to you. You're trying to make me look silly. So I'm going to do everything I can in this Let's Play series, folks, to try and stop myself from becoming pink. So mm, we'll see how that goes. So far, it hasn't gone very well in other games. Sambo? Yeah? Sambo, yeah. dye your armor pink. I command it. Uh, yes, ma'am. 
<laughs> I can't do it because I know if I if I say no to you, you'll turn me into a frog. So I have absolutely yeah. There she is laughing away. I have no choice. Oh man, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have to find all the dye that all you wonderful folk have sent me. And I guess you know what? If I didn't use it, then that would be really bad, wouldn't it, Reggie? Because all these people have managed to actually be so nice and send me all that dye. If I didn't actually use it, that would be like a slap in the face. So yeah, I will do that. Good lord, what is going on there? Look at that. Fighting going on. Oh, now speaking of fighting, you know what, Reggie? Last week we made a promise in our Let's Play episode, and that was to demonstrate the combo system, speaking of fighting. And don't worry, folks, we are definitely going to do that. And we're also going to hop down to the south of us here, grab this orchard waypoint, and then we're going to head over to the west here, where we have to assist Farmer Eda driving bats and spiders from the orchard and squishing spider egg sacks. Now, Reggie, I'm not sure if you know but you know that I don't like yetis much I've got a bit of a phobia just just a little bit of one right well really? yeah well the thing is is that I also have a minor phobia about spiders and the sad thing is is that so many games especially MMOs have nasty spiders in them now so this is kind of like a mild version of a horrible thing that I have to deal with so you're not allowed to make fun of me when we're doing a spider thing because I'm going to be very scared <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so you're going to be nice to me because of my phobias you're, you're not going to take advantage of them at all are you? Uh, only slightly. <laughs> you are so mean. Do you know what? People that aren't mean are our viewers and followers. And a big hello to you guys, by the way. And speaking of that, we've got a few shout outs. Do you know what? I think that's time for a boogie on down, by the way. Do you know what? A lot of folk have been um, talking about the Melbourne Shuffle, which of course is this. And we had a few comments come in last week with people saying, Hey, no, Sambo, you're wrong. You're wrong. The dance is from the LMFAO dance video. And I'm like, yeah, I know that. But, yeah. But the dance... Where did they get it from? Exactly. Do you know what? I looked it up on Wikipedia, by the way, and that has been around since the late 80s here in Melbourne. So just to set the record straight, go look it up on Wikipedia. But the Melbourne Shuffle, these moves, these exact moves here, were around long, but were in fact probably before the members of LMFAO were actually born. So, yeah, just setting that record straight. Bit of Melbourne pride there, right, Reggie? Indeed. Indeed. We should know that's where we come from. Not that we can do it ourselves. Anyhow, first shout out here is from Betalorm22, and they say, Hey, can you guys please give me a shout out to Lou Brennan, my char engineer on Emery Bay? We certainly can, and hope you're enjoying leveling up your character there. Got another one here from Bubble Shrimp 10. Seriously, Reggie, these names are awesome. Our ones are so boring compared to these guys. Hey, Sambo and Reggie, in your next Guild Wars 2 part, could you please give me and Mr. Xboxman33 a shout out that would be awesome well there you go my friend a big shout out to you and thank you very much for your support got another one here from jump artist 97 and they say hey sambo and i'm not sure how to spell reggie but here it goes r-e-g-g-i-e -G -G -E. oh that's not too bad i think that's right i just want to say hello and you're doing a great job commenting and with the gameplay i wanted to know if you can give me a shout out it would be great and have a nice time with guild wars 2 that's really lovely I'll join you when I buy Guild Wars 2 myself, but till then, have a nice day. And that was from Jump Artist 97 What a lovely message, isn't that, Reggie? That is. We like hearing from our folk that are enjoying the show. And, of course, once you get into the game, I'm sure you're going to enjoy the game too. Uh, here's another one from Sean Collins, and they say, <clears throat> like they literally say, <clears throat> in quotes, Oh, peach water, you are naughty. Do you know what that sounds like? An Austin Powers line, if you ask me. And he's saying that sounds like suggestive humour to me. Maybe one of us said that in an episode. You know what? It would have been Reggie. She's always the naughty one. While I'm at it, would you she mind? Why, would, you mind would you mind giving me a quick shout out in your next Guild Wars 2 Let's Play? You and Reggie have so much fun together, and your fantastic videos give me loads of laughs on the long nights of study that I must endure. And last but not least, a very happy birthday to you. Well, there's another lovely message, but you know what? I think you've got your wife cross there there's nothing good about Reggie it's all me it's all about me so there you go Sean Collins thank you very much for your support we're really glad that we're helping you get through your studies by the way and make sure you put your studies first 
because there's plenty of time for gaming after you've finished. Another one here from Skits8. And they say, hey, I would love a shout out from Sambo and Reggie. Titus, the level 80 Norn warrior, is my character. Reggie, did you hear that? Level 80 already? You don't have any level wow. 80s, do you? No. No. We I'm know. lucky if I have a level 8. No, same here. Good Lord. That was some fast leveling you did there. Loving the videos, mate. Thank you very much and happy birthday. Well, thank you as well, Skits8, and I hope you're enjoying the show. And then finally, we've got one here from Vashisht Wolf, and they say, hey there, happy birthday to me, they're saying. Can I get a happy birthday for me on September the 30th? And that is from Vashish T. Wolf. Well, I think it's a little bit... Oh, and actually, I think by the time this video comes out, it'll be very close to the 30th, Reggie. So there you go. Big happy uh, birthday. Yes, about to say. I think it'll be about the 29th or so. Oh, I can't remember. Somewhere around there. Either way, happy birthday to you. And don't do anything that Reggie wouldn't do. Mmm, that doesn't leave much. There you go, folks. Just reminding you, of course, if you would like to lie down on the grass and get a shout-out from us, all you need to do is... Are you all right? There's all this a bit taxi is it need a bit of a rest or... oh i've had a long day you have had a busy day by the way didn't you head off somewhere at the last moment didn't you just decide to up and leave melbourne yeah we did well you know we just decided to take the family to um phillip island which is about one and a half hours drive from where we are and um yeah sort of went to phillip island visited a chocolate factory <gasps> and went to a maze and uh, illusions place and yeah some gorgeous driving in between lots of nice scenery you'd have loved it I, I was going to say I bet I would have gawked the whole way wow so what made you decide to do that that sounds last minute well it's school holidays and meatballs off work still and why not you know what I like that that's good I like the cut of your jib mister that's a good idea no excuse except to go and have a bit of a gawk at the scenery and of course I don't know if you guys know about Phillip Island but it is nearby Melbourne and of course it's famous for well famous for motor racing and I believe the penguin colony down there. Did you get to see any penguins? No, we didn't, but um, we have been a couple of years ago and did see the penguin parades. But uh, we did see chocolate penguins, penguins made out of chocolate, <laughs> but not real penguins. <laughs> That'd be right. Typical Reggie. Well, okay, I think that's enough of us reminiscing about our day. If you don't mind getting up, Your Royal Highness, if that's quite okay, can we disturb you from your slumber down there? Is it all right? Ah, oh, I think so. Okay, stand is not a command. There we go. I'll just move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you just have to move. Now, look, before we go any further, we're going to go and grab a, oh. a waypoint, but, 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 but. No, you're dead right. Do you know what we have to do? We have to demonstrate this drink. this drink, this combo thing. Now, what we were talking about last week, maybe we'll just use this poor unsuspecting Drake here as an example. But what we're going to do is I've got this ability called Flame Wall, and you can see Reggie running away from me as always. I'm going to get sort of halfway between... Mm, let's see, yeah, about there. Halfway between the River Drake and Her Royal Highness over there. And I'm going to put down a flame wall here where I'm wriggling my mouse. Now, the idea is that we have these class combos. And this is a great thing about Guild Wars 2. Because the idea is that I'm going to put a flame wall down. So, obviously, she's going to fire her arrow along here. It's going to pass through this wall of fire that I've got. And then when it hits this guy, this poor unsuspecting River Drake, it's going to be on fire. And that's going to inflict the damage over time of the type fire. Now, you stay put, mister. I think he knows he's going to get shot. What do you reckon? So, it's one of these cool things about Guild Wars 2. It's a very unique type of combat and it's a like a class combo and you can experiment with them as well like if I had an ice wall we could try that all sorts of different ones but it's going to be the most obvious with a firewall if you ask me so all right Reggie um, I'm going to set up my wall between you and the Drake are you ready I am ready all right so we'll pop this down and then we'll step out of the way and we'll hop back here and then Reggie can fire her arrow and we'll see it hit the drake there on fire we hope all right here we go here comes a flame wall and there goes the wall there it is all right when you're ready oh look at that you can see it look at that it is on fire those arrows are actually catching on fire and we saw it the, is yeah we saw the drake what? got burning damage there so obviously that's and all... I also got a little metal thingy flash up saying <gasps> that I 
Yes, I, I accomplished a team playing thing. Oh, hang on. So what's it called? Did I don't know you... how to view it. No, I don't know either. Maybe are you able to view your achievements? Maybe if you go to your hero panel, H, and then the second tab yeah. from the bottom with the little Arena Net logo on it there, that's your achievements. Is it anywhere in there, perhaps? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, it's hard to tell oh, because... I can't see it. No, it's no, weird. No, I can't see it. Well, look, maybe yeah, you like guys. A little thing. <laughs> well, maybe you guys watching along from home can tell us where that is, because I'd like to know what the actual official name of that is, because it is such a cool. Like, hang on, I, you know what? That was fun. Let's try it again. Let's find ourselves another unsuspecting drake. Here we go. All right. So where's Reggie? If you can come this way a little bit, and we'll set up another one. And this is very cool because, of course, we can experiment with all sorts of different stuff. And just because I'm fire at the moment means, obviously, we're putting a fire damage dot on her arrows. But again, if I guess I can do, you know, if I had an equivalent water wall or something like that, we could do the same thing. We'll give it a go. All right. Are you ready? Indeed. Hello, Mr. Sanders. All right. Here we go. Here's a firewall. And down it goes. And when you're ready, there they go. Look at that. You can actually see the arrows. Oh, what? Did we kill it already? Oh no, there they go. Oh, my flame wall disappeared. But we can see, in fact, now you can see they're not on fire. Do you know what? From the angle I was at, Reggie, you could actually see them catching on fire after they'd passed through the wall, and then you could actually see I'm the look river drain. seeing that on the video. Oh, yeah, it is awesome. All right, we're going to have to remember that. That's very cool. All right, well, now, there you go, folks. So you can let us know what combos you guys have experimented with as well, because I'm sure there's more than just flaming arrows. Anyhow, shall we head over here, and let's see if we can pick up this waypoint. And, oh, look, it's one of our pink members. How funny is that? Give them a wave. I was saying the other day, you can't set more than a foot in this server without coming across one of our wonderful guild members. So a big hello to you there, Eva Soul. Nice to see you. Now, I'm not sure. Do you know who Eva Soul is, Reggie? Um, I'm quite sure if I've come across Eva before, but hello, Eva. Hello. Nice to see you. And it looks like she is a level 44 necromancer. Oh, wow. Very cool. Do you know what? That's one of the classes I haven't yet actually played. Have you played a necromancer yet? I do have a necromancer and probably the one that I've played on the most, to be honest. Oh, because I know you I love, love her the... armor. It's gorgeous. I know it is. I want... She's obviously dyed that, I'd say. like, I wonder if black dye is rare in this game like it is in Guild Wars 1, because that's a very fine looking outfit you got on there, Eva Soul, by the way. Congratulations. Congratulations. But you know what, Reggie? I know that you loved your necromancer so, so much back in Guild Wars 1. So you're loving it equally as much here in Guild Wars 2, obviously. I am, yeah. I'm really enjoying playing the necromancer. Mm, going to have to give that a go. You know what? Speaking of armor, I'm just going to go into my backpack here because I remembered I picked myself up a slightly better chest piece here. And you can see defense is 23 and it gives me four power as well. But the thing about this, right, Reggie, and I still haven't worked this out, is if I go to my hero screen I can equip it no problem and in fact I'll do that right now but watch what happens to my top because I like my current outfit right if I put on this better piece of armor and there we go equip it look I get all plain Jane now I don't like that as much so have you managed to figure out how this town clothes thing works like how do I do it it won't fit in that slot my old gear will not fit in the town clothes so you know can I not actually have the look of my original piece of equipment oh. is that not how it works like is there no i i don't know like it does it seems like there's no costume slot if you know what i mean i don't know well look neither of us have a clue maybe again you guys can let us know in the comments like how do i keep on, I'll, I'll equip it again there we go how do i keep this look but wear this armor underneath is there a way of doing that like is there a costume because neither of us have been able to figure it out so if you could let us know that would be awesome anyway look at that we've got this waypoint here i think we should head up north again and go around and fix up this task for the farmer so we'll wave goodbye see you later eva nice to see you by the way and let's head on down and also don't forget reggie we're also on the lookout for harvesting nodes let's not forget that either because we've got our let's have a look if we have yeah i've got copper and we need to get more harvesting tools by the way but i did notice on the mini map reggie that harvesting nodes do show up so you don't have to keep an eagle eye out you can actually just look for them on the mini map which is very cool now she's already off to the task i'm gonna go and have a chat do? to farmer eater how can i help you here we go do you need help around here 
Without my husband, I need more help than ever. The orchard is infested with, oh my god, spiders! And they're Check starting the to build spiders nests. Like to inject eggs into the cores. Yeah. I need to get rid of them, but that. I can't do it on my own. Now, what happened to your husband? He was taking a either. shipment of apples to Beetleton, and then the centaurs attacked, and now I just have my orchard, my kitchen, and my memories. Oh, it's a bit of a sad tale, isn't it? Dear, oh dear. All right, so I can see you're hard at work already. What do we got here? Spider egg sacks. So what do we have to do? Drive bats and spiders from the orchard and squish spider egg sacks. Ew! All right, I'll give it a... Have you been squishing them already? I may have squished a couple already. Oh, that's gross. That is so gross. Oh, there's a big spider. Eek! Kill the spider dead. There we go. Now, how do we get bats, Reggie? I can see how we can kill spiders. Oh, God, there's another one. Help me. Help me, Obi-Wan. Whew, thank you. I can see the spiders. I can see the spider egg sacks. But it says that we have to drive bats away. What? what where are the bats? Oh, I can hear them. But where would they be? Are they in the trees you or something? You can hear the bats? Yeah, no. Well I, well, I can hear something. I don't know if it's bats. I definitely hear something weird. Oh god, you keep bringing out. Look, you're doing that deliberately, aren't you? Maybe. Maybe, she says. Boom! Oh, you know what? I'd forgotten how much I absolutely love this elementalist. And don't forget, folks, that I'm on fire at the moment, but I can switch to. That's right, I can switch to water if I wish. Oh man, seriously, the Elementalist is so much fun. I'm really enjoying it. And I know that, oh, spider hatchling. And I know you're really enjoying your ranger, aren't you? I am, I am. Do you know what, I actually had a bit of a go on my ranger. We did a bit of a live stream on my lazy Sunday and I've got to say I can completely understand why you enjoy it because it was a whole bunch of fun. And the skills that you get on the bow are just awesome, aren't they? So much fun. They are, they are. Well, I actually didn't manage to join you for the live stream, but I did watch the recording. Oh, right. Because, of course, it gets posted automatically to YouTube. And, yeah, you did You did appear to have great fun with your Ranger. Oh, it was amazing. Loved it. All right, I'm going to switch up to electricity here. We'll squish another another one, which means another... Look at that. Reggie always runs off when a spider comes. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> Oh, well, see, for me, I've already squished that egg sack and killed the spider, so, you know, after going on to this one. If you just, you know, cause a second spider to drop, that's a problem. Oh, my God, she's so awful to me. But that's a good thing about this game, actually. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a farmhand. Um, is that these nodes don't disappear when somebody else, you know, uses them. It's the same with crafting nodes as well, Reggie. Like, they they appear for everybody which is just fantastic. I think it's a great idea because then you don't have to worry about things being stolen from out underneath you. You know, you can you can go up and take like a copper node or some herbs and you know that you're not stealing them from anybody else. I really like that idea. Really very good. Well, that is something that always put me off um, other MMOs is the fact that, you know, you could be working on something for... You know, a few minutes, and then someone just come in and pip you at the post at the end. Yeah, and your hard and, work's gone. And they steal it. Yeah, that's horrible. By the way, have you noticed that it's getting light again out here? It's just I love the day-night cycle. It's it's just long enough so you can enjoy one of them, and then just before you get sick of it, it changes up again. So it's never boring. You know what I mean? Like you, it's always changing. I like it. I like it a lot. It's good timing. Because yeah. sometimes the real no, it is good. Well, the real time ones that they have in other games, like WoW, for example, you sometimes just want to actually see the daytime, but you know that you're not going to see it for another 12 hours because it does it in real time. So it can get a little bit annoying. Real time. Yep, oh, real time. Wow. Oh, oh! I learned a new skill. So. If if you're always playing at the same time of day, it never changes then for you. Exactly. So that's... Oh. Yeah, so, I mean, like, for example, on my server on WoW, I'm always playing at night time, basically. You know, because that's in real time. Oh. Yeah, so it's a bit weird like that. No. No good. No good, she says. 
You know what? I'm going to change up to fire again. There we go. This is a great thing about the Elementalist, by the way, is we can change up whenever we like. I mean, they do have a cooldown, but I can pretty much change whenever I like. And you know what? I learned the other day, I've got Earth to unlock yet. I'm still... I've yet got another one. My F4 ability, which is Earth skills. So I've got fire, I've got water, and I've got air. Look at that. She's run off again, leaving me with the great big spider. Oh, come on. Are you baited? Do you know what? I'm very squishy. Very, very squishy. There we go. And God, I love the sound effects in this game as well. And look at that view out over the orchard, by the way, Reggie. I mean... It's just, it's getting to be, it's like dawn or something, and the lighting is changing. This has got to be one of the most gorgeous games. You know, I always talk about how Final Fantasy XIV is an amazing looking game, and it is, by the way. But this has a unique style all of its own, and it is just incredible. The more I play this game, and the more zones that I get to, it's just jaw-dropping, isn't it? I mean, I still love my Guild Wars 1, don't get me wrong. But this just absolutely blows me away. And do you know what? To be completely honest, at first, it didn't. I mean, it was it always has looked awesome, but I didn't think I liked the particular art style. But now it is absolutely okay. growing on me. What about you? Uh, no, I've been, ever since the first time I logged in, I've been a big fan of the art style. Because it is, I don't know, it's sort of, there's almost a painted effect to everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's almost hand drawn or something. It's it's not hasn't gone yeah. for that. Like it, well, some things look ultra realistic, but it's still got a bit of a stylized look to it. Um, so yeah, it's that nice mix. But do you know where I was in my live stream the other day? I actually finally, whoa, big big spells there. Finally got to go to the snow, Reggie, like north of the Norn oh. area. And oh my god, it was just amazing. It was like being in New Zealand. It was an art. Oh, it was just incredible. Have you been to the snow yet? Um, I've got a Norn. Started a Norn. Right. Um, she's sort of at the beginning of some snowy areas. Yep, you will, you will definitely, once you get out of the starting area, once you've done all those first tasks, there's no doubt about it, because that's where I was, and you will get up to the snow to the north. It is, it, seriously, it's amazing. Now, we've done this task by the looks of things, by the way. We were gas bagging away there. We've got the point of interest. We've got the task completed, which is fantastic. But I still, I don't know how we get rid of the bats. Like, I, I just want to know that before we leave this area. Have you figured it out? No, I can't even see any bats. No, neither can I. I'm wondering if there's something on the ground that you have to trigger, or like is there fruit or something, or I'm not sure. Again, maybe it's you guys possible. can let us know in the comments. Mm. Oh, hey, look at this. We've got an event here. We might as well do it. It's popped up. We have to collect shiny red apples for Edna's famous pies. Now, this is one of those random events, folks. You can see it right here. And there we go. You can see there's a marker on the map to the northwest up here, Reggie. I'm going to draw it on the map. And it's around about there. There we are. I'm pinging it. There's the farmer. And I'm guessing that what we have to do is Welcome. find... Here we go. Help me with the apple harvest. Come back whenever you have an apple. So he's saying that we have to find an apple and then take it back. Oh, and look at this, a ripe apple tree. Oh, I'm guessing we have to attack it. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, well, I've picked up a, a stick or something and it actually gives me the ability to then hit the tree. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, sounds good. Oh, yep, and I got a shiny red apple off one of the spiders as well, by the way. But, okay, so you can pick up a stick. That's good to know. Do you know what? I've also unlocked a new skill called Freezing Gust, which chills my foe for a brief time. So I'm looking forward to using that. Let's nice have a you. chat with him. Here, take all my apples. There we go. My contribution. It's actually giving me a count up the top there as well. One. I've contributed one apple. All right, so, hmm. Here's a stick. A tree branch. Oh, there's an apple yeah, on the ground. Yeah, I've got a stick. All right, so hit tree. This tree here. All right, so oh no, someone stole it off me. Damn it! All right, so what happens when you oh. do get the stick? Oh, are you hit? Oh. Well, then you hit the tree. Oh. Someone keeps stealing all okay. our apples, Reggie. Yeah. That's not very That's nice. That's a bit rude. Okay, okay, come over this tree. I'm gonna give it a whack. Oh yeah, and I've got a branch too. All right, where are you? Oh yep. Yeah. All right, I'm oh, gonna steal no. these apples. The Go away. Been hit. 
Oh, yeah, okay, I can see here. Okay, so branch smack. Smack your foe with a branch. And we've also got leap, break your branch on the foe's face. So do you go and hit the ripe apple trees with it, do you? Oh! Yeah, you go hit the ripe apple trees and then you pick up the apple. Oh, except, you know what, typical. In my case, guess what happened? A spider came out. And there it is, there's, there's the... Yeah, she's laughing. Oh, you're so funny. That was the freezing gust. Oh my god, I'm nearly dead! Oh, I have to fight to survive. Help me, Obi-Wan! You're my only Okay, hope. so I've got seven apples. I'm dead! Can I hang them into someone? What? Yep, I'm on the oh, ground right. dead. someone's reviving you. It looks like it. Oh, thank goodness for that. Dear, oh dear. Wow, that was nasty. That was really nasty. That thing was really, really hard to... Like, it had heaps of hit points, and it hit really hard. Ouch! What level was it? I didn't even bother to check. Oh, there's another one. Oh, my lord. Well, at least we're getting lots of shiny apples. All right, I'm going to go back and hand in, because you know what? As always, we're well over time. But this is so much fun. And this is what I love about Guild Wars 2, is these random events come up. You know what I mean? So it's like you're never bored. Never ever bored. It's fantastic fun. And you can see that everyone's getting into the spirit here. And look at that. Baking pies in 23 seconds. I guess we have to go quickly and get as many apples as we can before the time runs out. Okay, I've got two more here. Here we go. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Got 12 seconds. Run, 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 run. Can we do it? Well, I've contributed 12. Oh my god, really? Hello. Alright, I yeah. contributed 8. Just one more oh, we did it! Okay, I got a silver medal. We did it! And I got 279 XP, 31 karma, and 15 copper. So, what what sort of medal mm. did you get? Well, I got gold. So, obviously, oh. I contributed more than you did. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I think you I did. I got... 328 experience points, 36 karma, and 18 copper. Wow, that was nice. Yeah, well, you know what? I did die. I'm going to use that as my excuse. Oh, boy. Oh, well, it had to happen sooner or you later. always have some sort of excuse. <clears throat> yes, anywho. Well, it's because we don't have Seraphis the Healer here. That's why I was dying. But anyway, Thank folks, as you that. can tell, there are so many different activities in this game. We have not even scratched the surface yet. I mean, we're still um, here in the newbie zone. We haven't even got out of there. And, you know, there are still vistas to see, points of interest to find. There is underwater discoveries to be made. There are skill point challenges to be had more vistas to discover still more tasks jumping puzzles secret hidden caves treasure chests quests storylines oh it goes on and on and on seriously there is so much content in this game it is absolutely ridiculous and we can't wait to get to it and speaking of which if you ever look down to the south here this is where we're going to go next week we've got the shaymore fields here help cassie around the mower ranch search the bushes for lost mowers kill bandits destroy their supplies and recover feed from the bandit haunt caverns and you can see we've got a point of interest down there as well and i think reggie if i pan around the map that marks the end of our initial set of tasks in this area and i think once we've done that we can start heading south a little bit and try and unlock some more vistas and some more points of interest we've got a scout over here and we've got these skill challenges over to the east as well so boy are we going to have our hands full and we haven't even got up here yeah, look at that. That is Divinity's Reach. We don't even know what that's like yet. We haven't even been near it. So, oh boy, we are going to be here for a while, but I'm really looking forward to it. In the meantime, folks, sorry about being over time. As always, if you're watching this in your lunch hour and your boss asks you why you're late back, make sure that you blame Regina J. Assert. In the meantime, we need to get out of here. On behalf of myself, Sambo, Seraphis, and the wonderfully purple Regina J. Assert, it's us saying take care. Hope you guys have a great week wherever you are in the world. We do look forward to seeing you next time we will see you then and bye bye bye